All right. So Lenza is the latest and greatest craze. It's on news channels. It's been blogged about. It's everywhere on YouTube. And that's why you're here. So what is Lenza? It's an AI app that helps you create avatars of your own face. This isn't a new, we have seen apps like these before, but where Lenza is different is that it spits out about 50 to 100 variations of your face with different backgrounds or different hairstyles. And I played with it. So step one, it's just going to show you what to expect, some good examples. And then if you scroll down here, it'll show you some not so good examples. Step two, you have to upload 10 to 20 images. The images have to be a close up of you. As you can see in here, it's showing don't show any images with hands or legs or people or pets. And what you will find is AI is not really good at human anatomy other than the face. If you have an image of yours showing your hands or body parts other than your face, it's probably going to mutilate it. So it's best not to do that. Just stick to above the shoulder and your face, not showing any fingers or toes. Step three, pick your gender. And then the final step is where they take your money. So even if you are subscribed to the paid plan, you still have to pay for the images to be generated. This part is never free. And they explain here because this takes a lot of computational power. That is why they need you to pay for that power that their servers are using. Now I took it for a spin. I uploaded my wife's photos and here are some of the results with Lenza. And then I also ran it through my AI tool that I use for all my image generations called Mid Journey. So this in the center, you can see the old image on the left is Lenza on the right is Mid Journey. And it in with Mid Journey, you have a lot more control over how those images get generated because you can use commands and we're going to get into that in a few minutes. And this one again, center one is the original and you can see the two side by side between Lenza and Mid Journey. And then another one, this one I like Lenza's better than Mid Journey. I just couldn't figure out what prompt to give Mid Journey to produce this result. And then here's another one from Lenza, Mid Journey and the real one in the center. One thing to keep in mind is Mid Journey works off of prompts, but the great thing is that you decide what you want Mid Journey to create versus Lenza. Lenza just gives you what it gives you. You don't have any control over how your photos are going to come out. So here are some other examples from Mid Journey. So again, I took a seed photo of my wife and we'll get to it in a minute and then told Mid Journey now create images based on this seed photo because I want that this character to look as much like my wife as possible. Another one took a seed photo, told Mid Journey. You can see not that many words here, just a simple command princess painting sketch floral tones and this is what I got and then this one sticking to a Christmas theme I wanted to see if we can get Christmassy colors candy canes and I think overall mid journey has done a great job you can see the amount of detail that I put in the prompt to get this image and this was at my first attempt I haven't upscaled any of these images so these are all first attempt images that you can then further upscale now with that Let's get into mid journey and see how we can do it. You already know how to do this in Lenza. Let's show you how to do this in mid journey. So I'm in my mid journey discord channel here. Mid journey runs off of discord. I will link you to another video where you can learn how to spin up a brand new server. It is super easy. You are just going to go in your discord channel, click on new server, you know, click on create my own. Let me quickly walk you through how to create a brand new server. So I'm going to click on this plus here and create my own new server. And let's just call this Lenza versus Mid Journey. Once you have created your server, you will need to go to the Mid Journey main Discord channel. And then from this Discord channel, look for the Mid Journey bot, left click on it and add it to your server. Once you have added to your server, you will be good to go. All right, we are authorized. So now I have this new server here. First thing I wanna do is I want to upload a file that I want to use as my seed file which will be the file used to put all the other images. So I'm going to use this as my seed file and just press enter or if you're on your cell phone, just hit send. Now your file is uploaded. Now what we're going to do is click on this file and copy this image address, which is our seed file. Then we're going to put a, a forward slash here and tell mid journey to use this prompt called imagine. And I'm going to put in my, the address of that image 
that I just entered. And let's just say I want to add a simple command called cartoon. Now mid journey is going to take that seed image, make a cartoon version of and spit it up. So here's my first iteration of the cartoons. And I'm going to say that I like this one, number three. So then I can tell mid journey to either create versions of number three or upscale that. And you will keep going through iterations. If you don't like any of these, then you will just remix it and ask it to give you four more. Now let's try something else. All right. So for my next one, I gave it a prompt again using that CDRL, snowy background, pencil sketch. And this is what I got back from mid journey. I don't think the person looks closer to that image of my wife that I posted here. So what I'm going to do is let's try one more. And this time we can use a different image, get, grab that URL and then try a different prompt. What I want to do this time is go to Midjourney feed. So it's just midjourney.com. And then on midjourney.com, you can go to forward slash apps, forward slash feed. And this is a great place to get inspiration for what you want to create. Or you can even go to the stock photography website just to get inspiration. Why I like to go here is I can click on a photo and see what prompt was put in. And based on that prompt, I can model my prompt. So we can go through here, look for something that looks cool. Maybe we can try this. And then I'm going to go back in mid journey, put in my imagine prompt. And after I put in my prompt, you can do this either before or at the end, put in my seed image. So mid journey knows to look for that seed image. Here are the results from my prompt. What I added here is IW3. And what this does, it, it looks, it gives more weight to that original image. So the higher the number, the more weight it's going to give to the original image. And I like these results. This one especially looks closer to my wife's image and also this first one. So that's how you can use mid journey. Again, Lensa doesn't give you as much control as mid journey. And if you are going to use Lensa, you are going to still have to pay each time you want to create a generate more images because that is just something you cannot bypass. I'll put that link in the description below. Subscribe and keep creating.